My name is Sabrina Romanov, and in this video, I'm going to cover custom GPTs. You may have heard about them, but what are they and how do you use them? And as usual, the best place to start asking is ChatGPT. So here I asked, what is a custom GPT? Okay, it's a tailored version of ChatGPT designed to perform a specific set of tasks. And typically a custom GPT has specific instructions and knowledge tailored to do those specific tasks effectively compared to using plain chat GPT. For example, people who make custom chat GPT can enhance the GPT's knowledge by uploading relevant documents like PDFs and JSON files, allowing the GPT to retrieve specific information from those files. They'll make a lot more sense as we dive into them. So over here on the left sidebar, you should see something that says explore GPTs. Go ahead and click on that. And now you're going to see a whole library of custom GPTs that you can install for free. So I'm just going to scroll down a bit so you can see here are the featured ones this week. These are some of the most popular GPTs, Image Generator, Canva, Logo Creator, Write For Me, Scholar GPT, Consensus. And then here are GPTs created by OpenAI, Professional Writing Coach, ChatGPT Use Cases for Work, Multiple Logo Generators, Cartoonize Yourself, Tattoo GPT, Many Different Writing Tools to Humanize Your AI, help enhance your CV or resume, copywriting for marketing and ads, productivity tools, and integrations with other SaaS tools, such as Canva, Veed, tools for research, tools for programming, tools for education, lifestyle, and many more. And you can search all the GPTs here. So let's try a couple of these out. So let's try Canva, for example. Okay, this is what you're gonna see. Okay, and then just click start chat. And when you install a GPT, there are usually preset templates here for some of the most common requests. Okay, let's try this one, making an inspirational quote graphic for a social media post. And now the Canva GPT, which you can access anytime from here. So you can always start a new chat with a GPT from here. But let's go ahead with this one. Do you have a specific quote in mind or should I choose a motivational theme to get started? I choose a motivational quote about believing in yourself. Now, this is going to ask for permission. Canva wants to talk to the ChatGPT plugin for Canva. So I'll say allow. Okay, and then Canva basically just created this design. Here's an inspiring design for a quote. The power of self-belief is unstoppable. And it's a picture of, I, I think it's like a mountain goat climbing super steep cliff. And if you click on the image, it actually opens directly in Canva. So I'm not logged into Canva here, but if you have a Canva account, it would open it up in Canva so you can make any final tweaks before publishing it on social media. Let's say you like the quote, but not the image. I like this quote, but not the image. It's also hard to see the image. Provide that feedback. Now it's saying, hey, I'm glad you like the quote. I'll look for more options. Canva again wants to talk to chat to be plug in Canva. Now, if you don't want to click allow every time, you can click always allow, but just be careful. Ooh, I like this one. Hardships. Okay. C.S. Lewis. Life quotes. Uh, this one is a bit hard to read. Uh, this one I like too. Do not give up. It's never too late. Uh, I don't like this one as much. Let's say this one, C.S. Lewis quote graphic is the one we like. Again, just click on it and it'll open up in your Canva account so you can make any final tweaks posting it on social media. So here we just walk through an example of installing a custom GPT, in this case, Canva and then using it right out of the gate. Okay, let's go back to the GPT library, explore GPT, and let's try consensus. Okay. Okay, start chats. And if you don't know what consensus is, it's basically like chat GPT, but it's trained on a lot of research papers. And so it's really great if you're researching something and need citations, you can search references and everything's backed by academic papers. Let's choose this one, draft a blog on science backed benefits, in this case, mindfulness, but you can change it to any topic you want. Okay, and what's really neat about consensus is it provides these references to research papers. And let's check out some other chat GPTs. Okay, productivity. Here I scrolled all the way down to the lifestyle section and there's stuff on astrology, therapy, making songs, fitness, travel, and gaming. Let's try the astrology birth chat. Okay, can you analyze my love life through astrology? That's a fun one. So here I'm not going to provide my actual birth date, but I'll, I'll say like April 18th, 1992. And I was born in Manila, Philippines. Okay. I don't know my exact birth time, probably 312 AM. Again, this GPT is asking to communicate with another website authority, astrology.com. 
what you'll find is a lot of companies have built GPTs so that you can play around with a GPT. And if you want more advanced features, it'll usually link back to their website. After providing some information, you get a birth charts analysis of your love life, key romantic influences, significant aspects affecting your love life. And if you have additional questions, you can keep asking here. And so, yeah, there are a ton of custom GPTs here for you to play around with. Again, you can find it by clicking explore GPTs on the left. You can search for GPTs up here in the search bar. And after you add them, they'll be available on the left sidebar. So you can always start a new chat. All right. My name is Sabrina Romanov. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.